Tracy Wells again from Farmers Insurance here in Grayson, Georgia with another episode of Insurance 101. And I'm happy to have back uh, Jason Russ of Russ Tech Solutions. Uh, he's our resident IT professional, gives us a wealth of information on IT solutions. Uh, good to have you back, Jason. Thanks for having me, Tracy. Um, we've been seeing all the cyber attacks and we know about the one that shut down the gas line recently and still causing some issues, uh, even was it a week ago and there's still yeah. some issues with gas stations being completely out long lines. Yeah. But are we going to see more of these attacks? You will, uh, especially as companies and government entities um, keep paying the ransom. It gives the ransomware companies incentive to keep moving forward. Okay. It kind of worries me to see that happening because they're always saying don't negotiate with terrorists. And I would think that these guys are terrorists, you know, and for them to go ahead and pay the, the money like that, it, it, I would think it probably would encourage them. Yes. <laughs> that that yes. kind of worries me. Um, what industries or business types will be targeted? There are... Pretty much, if you're a company connected to the internet, then you're going to be targeted. But the bigger the corporation, uh, the more likely it is that you're going to be um, targeted because of the financial needs. And a lot of these ransomware um, companies will monitor a, a company's financials, um, especially if they're publicly traded. It's mm -hmm. just easy information. Mm -hmm. Um, just to make sure it's financially feasible for them to attack. Okay. And here's the thing, you know, me as an insurance professional and my industry insurance, you know, we're always telling business owners how important it is to get cyber liability because it's inexpensive. It can really save them, but they just roll their eyes sometimes and don't take our advice seriously. Um, can you explain to business owners why they really should get it? Well, it needs to be part of the repertoire or their um, uh, part of their stack, um, the security stack, uh, because if you can't afford an attack and you don't have the means to get the financial means or even the um, infrastructure means to get back up and operational quickly, mm -hmm. then the insurance company does have the ability to help you out and okay. get you back up and running. Okay. And what are some of the precautions that business owners should take in their operations? Just to really be cognizant of what you're clicking on. If it's not business related, then chances are you shouldn't be clicking on an email or a link um, or a file that comes across in the email. Um, it, it does more often than not boil down to user education. Um, and a lot of these, a lot of these um, employees just don't know what not to click um, when it, uh, Oh, when an email comes across. Okay. I know earlier you were sharing with me some stats um, that I guess how it affects this different businesses and industries. Can you kind of go over a couple of them? Yeah. Um, so last year in, in uh, April of 2020, um, there were 238%, uh, there was a 238% increase from the previous year um, of attacks. Um, the average, this is the biggest number, the average cost of a ransomware attack per hour is about $65,000. Most small business owners can't afford that. No. And most attacks, if you do get attacked and your data gets encrypted, an average attack will last about 15 days. 15 days. Which will shut down most small businesses. Wow. That's... That's, I have no words for that. That's yeah. crazy. Um, I've, I've, the final question I have for you, uh, will we see more companies, mainly larger companies, that will be forced to pay these ransom demands? I wouldn't say forced. Um, the 
if more companies stop paying the ransom, it doesn't give incentive for these um, attackers to stay in business. Um, but uh, if you, it, a lot of companies out there don't have the the backup solutions, the disaster recovery solutions in place, they're not proactive. So that kind of does force them into a corner and forces them to have to pay. Okay. Well, I really appreciate you stopping by. Um, can you tell them how they can get in touch with you? Absolutely. I'm Jason Rush, and the company that I run is a security IT firm uh, based out of Loganville, Georgia, and uh, it's Rush Tech Solutions. You can reach me at jason at rushtechsolutions.com or give us a call at 470-210-7874. All right, well, I appreciate you uh, stopping by and looking at our video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And after you subscribe, hit the bell one more time and you'll be notified when we drop new videos. Thanks for watching.